Hello, in this video I will show you how you can create your custom node with the delegate parameter and you can attach this parameter to the events and call from C++ logic to the blueprints. And if you want to check source code or documentation, it will be inside the description. Okay, let's start. It's default third person project uh, with the C++ and can check all works and we will do here inside this character and for first we should write declare uh, dynamic with the this will be good delegate to params and for the first we should write our parameter uh, of the delegate we will do this later but for now i will name mm, we should write first f and the name and now it's we can name it delegate uh, type test and then comma and we should write two other parameters it's like for testing f string F string, comma now the name of the F string uh, string test and the other the last one parameter uh, it can be bool bool and is success uh, is success okay we create here our declare dynamic macros. Uh, later we should create a delegate type and variable to call this we should write your property and here we need to just copy this type to create and create the mm, dele, uh, we get variable. Now we have the type, and we should create the now function. Your function blueprint. Uh, this function to call from the blueprints. Uh, it will be blueprint callable. Uh, we can make a category category test. Works. and now we can write a uh, just simple function void the name of the function and the type we should write this type here and mm, the blood test Okay, variable test. Now we can create our function uh, in Visual Studio, or we just can copy. Ah, now, okay, create the definition, this will be faster. Okay, we have the definition here, and we can try to compile how it will be work or not we need to check i think it will be final mm. yes okay and for here we can use our delegate but from the function uh, but what i want to create uh, to do the function uh, but the variable this to paste in the other global uh, variable this way this one and i will just copy this global variable here and i will make like this now we have not only function we can just take this variable and we can call from wherever you want inside this class 
and for testing I will put it inside move forward here and we can add uh, no uh, Visual Studio Okay, I will write then uh, the if bound uh, test first and and false parameter. Okay. It should work. But okay, let's compile and check. Okay, I fixed that. It's something with the Visual Studio and compiler. I just close and open and it works again. I can now copy and paste again. Here is a forward. And you can see we have now parameters and methods. And now I need to execute bound and I need to write and now we have and helpful information for now. And f string is will be test or mm, test we move part and bool parameter mm, true. Yes, it's true. Forward Okay, now seems all okay. And I need to check it. Yes, okay. I'm going to the first person character and I can write test. Ferox is our node, what we create here. Uh, its category, its name, and our new delegate type callback and we set here uh, this local callback because we can use this only in this function and with these methods uh, but I want to use from anywhere and I just uh, do like this and with this variable we can globally use and call from this class and we can check how it works to connect. It will be faster if I will just do like this. And we can print string. And check when I play, I move forward. We have our debug text. We trigger this. And its function you can see with the, this new event parameter. And we can trigger from the C when we will use this execute bound. And we just make uh, better for use global variable this one. What we just create. Also, I attach it to the documentation in the description uh, on the video. And you can check how it works and about the methods. And also I attach the link uh, with the full source code and you can check how it works. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.